Hi guys, it's me Grace back again with another video um, to tell you more about my weight loss story while well, my weight loss journey. <music> Today I want to talk to you about um, why this weight loss journey for me was not just about weight loss and I think that anybody who has struggled with their weight since childhood will understand why losing weight is not just about your body shrinking or you becoming a certain size it has such a more deeper meaning because there's always a reason why somebody has become overweight. And I think for the vast majority of people, that reason is, especially if gaining weight started off in your childhood, that reason is connected with things that are often difficult to deal with. So I wanted to talk about that today because obviously I wanted to lose weight to um, be able to wear the clothes that I want to wear and feel more comfortable in my body and just really look forward to uh, dressing myself and uh, enjoying clothes and things like that. However, when I really look at this journey that I have been on and that I am still continuing on, I realise that my life has changed and it's because I have finally dealt with and I'm dealing with the things that caused me to be overweight in the first place. And today I want to talk to you about the things that changed in my life for me to be able to change my life and I hope that me um, coming to you and really I think being a bit vulnerable really will help you to understand that you should never be ashamed of wanting to make a change in your life and you really don't have to answer to anybody about why that change is necessary for you. Me wanting to change myself is not about anybody else. It, it literally has nothing to do with anybody else. It has to do with me and me wanting to live fully and completely and unapologetically. And I've come to a place where I want to be able to share that because I believe that there are other people out there who can appreciate and understand that feeling and maybe they are looking for some encouragement that it is possible and that they can do it and so I just want to share that part of my journey with you today and there are three main things that have happened in my life to enable me to be able to make this change but first of all I want to talk to you about uh, how I even got to a place in the first place where I felt like I needed to change. And uh, I've shown you some pictures in my previous videos and I want to show you one of those pictures now. And I want to talk about what I feel when I look at that picture. Um, so I've put up the picture on the screen and basically in this picture you can see that I'm clearly overweight in this picture. And... For me, when I think about how I was feeling about myself at that time, I was taking the picture because I wanted to document where I was at. And I believe when I took the picture that I believed that I was going to be able to make a change. But I can tell you that change did not come immediately after this picture. It still took me months, if not years, after this picture to start making changes in my life to enable me to be sitting here and talking to you about having made this change. 
I think it's important to be able to explain that there's reasons why I was overweight, right? And there'll be reasons why um, anybody watching this who is currently overweight is overweight. And going through my journey, I have realised a lot of what those reasons were. And I think in the main part, I have ended up from childhood up until I started making the changes in my life that were needed in order for me to lose this weight. I had used food to soothe myself. So I would use food if I was disappointed, if I was upset, if I was stressed about something, if I was um, angry, if I was bored. Food always seemed to be the go-to thing for me when I didn't really want to look at whatever emotions I was feeling at a particular time. So I would use food to distract myself from looking at, looking more deeply at what was happening at the time and how I was feeling about it. And the strangest sort of weirdest thing about using food to soothe yourself is that you never or I never used to look for a nourishing or wholesome food. I would always go for the most sugary, the most <laughs> fatty, the most salty food I could find. And I would just eat and eat until I had either forgotten about whatever had um, caused me to want to eat in that way in the first place. Or I was just so um, full that, you know, I'd just carry on with my day and not think about it anymore. And um, obviously over time, it becomes a habit. You no longer, especially because this is, this is talking about childhood now. This is something that I had started in childhood. Probably, you know, at childhood, it was unknowing. I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing. I was just... Um, on automatic pilot or oh, I feel upset or oh, I feel unhappy or oh, I'm going to just go and eat this uh, sweet or this chocolate or ice cream or you know whatever I could get my hands on and then all the sugar or the salt or whatever would give me uh, look, I don't know all the science but I know that it would make me feel good in that moment and I would just push whatever it is that caused me to want to eat in the first place out of my mind and I would just carry on. And so whatever emotions I had had that caused me to want to eat in that way, they were never addressed. So fast forward to uh, me starting this weight loss journey and knowing that I was no longer going to be able to use food in this way. Because the thing is, I think I already knew. I already knew and I had pretty much accepted that that is how I was using food. As I became an adult, I became more aware of myself and I realised what I was doing. But I had never been at the place where I felt like I was ready to change. So when I now got to the place where I was ready to change... I knew I was no longer going to be able to use food to soothe myself if I wanted my weight loss journey to be successful. But even though I knew that, I didn't know how, how deeply that was going to impact me as I was going through my journey. Because the reality is, yes, you, I think you have to be very focused and you have to be very determined and you have to be sh very sure that you are going to make the changes and develop the habits that you need to lose weight on a day-to-day -day basis. But that doesn't stop life from happening. You still have to go to work. You still have to take care of your family. You still have to do all the things that life requires you to do. And 
that means that you're still going to face situations and circumstances and relationships that are going to bring up um, feelings of frustration, feelings of stress, feelings of upset. And when you no long, well, when I no longer had this crutch that had been food, I suddenly had to sit in those emotions. I had to sit in those feelings. I had to acknowledge them, I had to identify them, and I had to deal with them. And that is a very hard process. It is, I'm not going to lie, I feel like it is a very hard process. And um, you have to be really, really determined that you're making this change. And so whatever the um, consequences of that are in terms of you having to change the way that you uh, relate to life that you're going to make them and that's basically what I had to do so when you if you've if any of you have gone and visited my Instagram you'll you'll notice that in some of the captions I talk about the fact that for me this weight loss journey has been transformative not only in my physical being but in my mental and in my spiritual also because I realized through this journey that I was not caring for myself in terms of how I was dealing with myself and in terms of how I was dealing with other people. I, I basically had kind of like abandoned or like uh, let go of myself and I don't mean let go in the way that people talk about it when they say oh uh, you know you're just not making any effort that's not what I mean I feel like it's much deeper than that I'm talking about when you you're not you're not seeing yourself as worthy of care because the reality of this journey is me caring for myself every single day whenever i make a decision to exercise my body whenever i make a decision to put good things into my body through my nutrition i am saying to myself that i am worthy of care and when i look at that picture uh, that i showed you what i see is a time when I was not acknowledging to myself that I was worthy of care. And so if you think about that, if you think about what that means, you will understand what I say when I say this weight loss journey is not just about losing weight. Because in taking that change in mindset and in understanding that I am worthy of care, my whole life has been transformed because things that I would have accepted in my life when I wasn't acknowledging that I was worthy of, of care can no longer exist in my life. Um, certain ways I would, I would act or ways that I would react to things, they no longer stand because I know that I am worthy of care and I am practicing that care each day in my life. So, you know, I I would really love to hear from you guys in the comments if you can understand what I'm saying, because I'm really trying to sort of break it down to help you to understand that it is a wonderful thing to be able to look at yourself and be pleased with what you see, but it is equally, if not more important, to be able to have peace in your mind that you are worthy, that you are amazing, that you are awesome, and you can do great and hard things. And I, when I look at that old picture of myself, I think that deep down inside, I did know all of those things, but for some reason, I was not able to 
really grasp hold of them in a way that was able to transform my life. Um, and I'm so, I'm so happy and I'm so pleased that I was eventually able to do that so that I can come and speak to you now and let you know that my life has transformed and if you're in a similar position to I to what I was when I was in that previous past picture, that your life can also transform if you just accept and believe that you are absolutely worthy of care, absolutely worthy of effort for, for, from yourself, from yourself and from others, but primarily from yourself um, because it's you that has to make the change. And um, I know I said at the beginning of the video that I was going to tell you the three things that helped me to make that uh, mindset change, that mindset transformation. And um, I want to explain those things to you now. Uh, so firstly, I know I've spoken about this in a previous video and I said to you guys that prior to me making the change that actually led me on the journey to be a, being able to lose the fat that I have lost, I had gone on a crash diet where I was um, eating in a very extreme way and it basically had triggered um, autoimmune disease in my body and um, I didn't tell you what the autoimmune disease was at the time but I'm sharing it with you now and letting you know that basically my body developed ulcerative colitis and the symptoms of that are absolutely horrendous. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail because it's all a bit gory and uh, very unpleasant but if you go and google the symptoms of ulcerative colitis you will uh, know what I'm talking about. And when I developed this, this disease and these symptoms, it really, really impacted my life significantly on a day-to-day -day basis. But what it, what it showed me is how uh, precious our life and our time is. And going through that experience made me want to live life it want it made me want to take um advantage of every moment of my life it wanted it it made me want to live my life to the full because it made me understand that there are situations and circumstances that can occur that will lead uh, a person to not be able to live fully and Thankfully, I was in a position where I could reverse the ulcerative colitis so that I would be able to live fully. And I was absolutely determined to do that because I knew that my life has worth and that it has purpose. And I wanted to live my life and I wanted to live it fully. So that was the first thing. That having such a significant thing like that happen in my life kind of gave me that why you know that why that we always talk about about you need to know your why if you're going to make a change because you need to hold on to that why and the why needs to be the thing that helps to sustain you through whatever change you're making me wanting to live my life after experiencing what it felt like to be impeded in living my life was my initial why and that is it's, it's really strange and it's really weird to me because I had struggled with my weight from childhood and there had been so many opportunities for me to lose weight and keep it off. And for whatever reasons, I was never able to do it until now. And so, yes, I do really think that when it comes to making such a significant change as I have made, you have to have a strong why. And it does, I, you know, I really, really hope and pray that um, no one has to experience what I had experienced 
with um, the autoimmune disease in order to make that decision. I hope that you guys can find your why within yourself, just knowing that you are awesome, that you are amazing and that you deserve to live a full life and that you would make a determination that you are going to live a full life. So that was that was one of the three things that enabled me to make the change because my mindset shifted so much when I experienced the symptoms that I experienced going through the ulcerative colitis. And then the two other things that shifted in my life um, are to do with my faith. And um, these are things that I reinforce to myself and I, I remind myself of on a daily basis. So the first thing is acknowledging and recognising that I was made for a purpose, that this life that I have is precious, that it is amazing and that if I am willing and if I take action, I can live an awesome life in this world and be awesome. <laughs> and the reason why uh, that's to do with my faith is because I know that God made me for a purpose. I know that God put me here for a reason in this time and in this season to do great and awesome things in this time. And even though I had maybe known that in my heart before, a new sort of revelation of that came to me and it has stayed with me and because that has stayed with me I have felt I have felt like I have to I have to do what is necessary for me to be able to realize the purpose that I am here and that has kept me going because I I really want um you guys to understand that even though you may see me now and think, oh, wow, um, you know, you've done amazing. This journey has been at times a roller coaster, up and down. And there have been hardships and struggles and setbacks. And, you know, of course, I would wish um, anybody going on this journey would like have a very smooth journey. But my that has not been my reality I feel like the journey has got easier as it has gone on, but the reality is I have suffered setbacks and um, frustrations and uh, things that have at times caused me to want to give up. But because, as I say, I had it in mind that God made me and he made me for a purpose and there are wonderful and awesome and amazing things for me to do if I would be willing to take the actions that are needed for me to be able to go out there in the world and do these things. And part of those actions is me um, letting go of and getting rid of the excess fat that I had on my body and all that that represented to me. Because I feel like, yes, okay, it's fat. Yeah, there's, pro there's a scientific... Um, calculation for what it is yes but what it represented to me was negative self-talk uh limiting beliefs um unresolved trauma um frustration and disappointment with situations and relationships and why i say all that is because those were the things that would cause me to go and overeat. Those were the things that caused me to put on the weight in the first place. So as I have been shedding this excess weight, as I have been releasing it, as I have been uh, getting rid of it, I have been also in my mind getting rid of all of those things that I just listed. And at the forefront, 
what has been coming to me at the forefront is that underneath all those things is the person that I was meant to be with all without all those burdens and those heavy feelings um preventing me from being able to be and do all that I really believe in my heart that I'm able to do you know and yeah I think I feel like it's important to share that with you because you may see somebody who is overweight and you might think oh you know that person just eats too much or they're not uh, doing enough exercise or whatever but I feel like and just from my own experience I feel like a lot of people who are overweight it has more to do with emotions and uh, feelings than it has to do with eating and moving. And if you can relate to that, you know, please let me know in the comments. So, as I said, there's two things of the three that are to do with my faith. And I've just explained the first one to you, which is uh, me understanding that God made me for a purpose. And me feeling a renewed determination to to realise that purpose, um, to live it. And the, the second thing that is to do with my faith is me making a decision that I was going to... <laughs> that I was going to do this thing, this weight loss journey, this transformation of body and mind and spirit that I was going to do it with Jesus every day and I've spoken about this before on my Instagram when I finally made the decision that today was going to be today I was not going to wait for tomorrow to start today I was starting I made the decision that I was going to bring this journey before God every single day that I was going to take this journey one day at a time and that I was going to ask God for his help for me to stay on course, for me to have the strength and the purpose and the strategies to do this thing. Do this thing that I had tried so many times to do in the past and not been able to do. I was going to ask God every single day to go with me to do this thing. And I, did, I didn't remember at the time, I didn't recall um, certain scriptures that I have during my journey later on come to. But effectively, um, what I was really doing was committing this, this work, because that's what it is. I have been working on myself. This weight loss journey is me working on myself. I am the project. <laughs> I have been the project. I have been working on myself. And I was committing this project to God every single day. And I have, I have continued every single day to commit um, this work that I'm doing on myself to God. And I will continue by God's grace to commit it to him every day. And because I've been committing it to him every day, I have felt such a strength. I have felt such a acceptance. I have felt such a comfort, even in times of setback, even in times of frustration, even in times when I wanted to give up, I still felt like it's okay, it's okay Grace you can do this, you will do this. And, you know, I've said it before, the proof is in the pudding. You can look at the picture that I've showed you throughout this video and you can see that I am, I am not that person anymore. And it is because I have daily submitted this work to God. And I'm just so I am just so grateful. I am so, 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 so grateful to God. I'm so grateful to God for where he has brought me from because only he knows 
Only he knows what this work has meant to me. And only he understands how, what he has brought me out of and how I have transformed. And, and I really, I really wanted to share these things with you because a lot of the time on the internet, we see the end part of somebody's journey. We see the triumph. We see uh, the completion of the work, but we don't see what came before it. And I think it's really important to know what came before it because if you know what came before it, maybe it can help you on your own journey. And as I've said before, the reason why I'm making this series of videos is so that you guys can take from my experiences whatever may be able to help you on your experience. And really and truly, I know that I have been able to um, watch so many YouTube videos that I have been able to take from to help me on my journey. And, uh, you know, I hope that my videos can be that for some of you. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I know that I've been going quite deep on some of the things that I've said, but it's the truth of what I have been through. And I think it's important for you to see um, what it has taken to get to where I am. Um, and, and what I'm still doing in order to make these changes stick because it's only when you do things consistently and continually uh, that you can truly say the change is permanent and that is what I was always looking for from the beginning of this journey I was looking for these changes to be permanent and I believe that they are they are um so Again, if you've been able to relate to anything that I have said in this video, you know, go ahead and give me a like um, or drop me a comment and I will definitely respond. And if you want to keep hearing from me, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.